Hello everybody. I just wanted to take you through a little bit of a Photoshop lesson. Um, I photographed the Green Shield Christmas party this weekend with children. Uh, this is another mother in the photographer forum with us here. Um, and I just wanted to show you some changes we couldn't do in Lightroom uh, that we can do in Photoshop. And with the help of an action, I can get through these 280 images a little bit quicker. So we are going to be on our action. And the first action, first set of the action will essentially select all the gray and it will create a mask and then it goes back to my base document. This has assets that I want over top of this image so it selects that file and I can then drag these holding shift onto my image. That keeps everything nice and centered and now I just have to touch up the mask that was intelligently created by the first step there. So this is a mask. I've just got it on a layer so I can really see what I'm doing here. Getting rid of any place that there might be some color cast from the background that we're using. But as you can see, look at how nicely this gets around the hair and creates a really, really nice mask. So I have overlay number two, an action, which will basically take this mask and apply it to two other layers and then delete it from this mask. So there it is creating and it's deleting the other. So you can see that we've intelligently created a background very quickly using a selection tool, grabbing the gray and creating a little bit of an action. So this is a couple minutes, uh, just a kind of technical two minutes in how I use Photoshop outside of Lightroom and exactly why I would need to do that and how efficient a really good action can be in your workflow. Thanks a lot.